We'll do a quick one here today on how to remove the skid from your snowmobile. So I'm a step ahead already, <clears throat> but what I do is I'll remove the two bolts holding the uh, the rear portion of the skid, the one that your torsion springs, the I guess the axle that your torsion springs are mounted on. Um, these and most Articats and probably most sleds out there, it's a threaded shaft that sits inside of the actual arm for the suspension. Now that just spins free in there. So it's best to make sure you got both bolts loose before you back them all the way out. Otherwise you might just find that the whole shaft will spin um, inside, the, inside the pipe of the arm. So what I like to do is run one side out loose, make sure that it's coming loose, run it back tight, go to the other side, do the same thing, but then pull the other side all the way out. Um, and then come back to this side and and uh, pull the bolt all the way out. So at this point, the skid is, is free from the tunnel. And is just sitting in there. The next step, you got the two bolts up in the front for the front arm of the skid. And these two, you'll just reach up underneath with your wrench and take the nuts loose, pull the nuts all the way off. And then we'll have to flip the sled on its side, pull these out the rest of the way and pull the skid up and out. And I'll show you how to do that here. For the next part, it's good to make sure your hood straps are latched so that when we tip this on its side, the hood doesn't open up and get in our way. Um, I like to lay just some rugs or something down. Um, it depends on how much you care about scratching up you know, the side of your belly pans when you do lay this on the side. They do make a um, kickstand type rod thing. I forget exactly what they uh, call it for what it does is it'll sit when you tip your sled on its side it'll just hit your bar riser or your steering stem and hold hold your sled up on its side rather than laying it all the way down onto the ground but I don't have one of those, so I'll just throw some mats down and do it this way. So there's actually two ways you can flip this over. What a lot of people will do is, like your side pin, and pick it up that way and lay it down. Um, another way I like to do it, depends on how you prefer, so just pick up a ski and tip it down. I kind of prefer to do it that way. I feel like I got a little more control, although it does take some more effort to start. So once we got it on its side, you can see that the bolts are out of this rear shaft. Um, so now it's a matter of, I'm gonna have to lift on this end of the skid with one hand while I work the front bolts out. You can see this one almost fell the, the rest of the way out when I tipped it over, which if it would have, it, that's okay too. Um, so now I just gotta work on getting this one up and out. And then uh, 
and then you'll just pull the skid right out of the track and the skid will be free. It's four bolts, it actually doesn't go too bad. Make sure your gas lid is tight before you tip it over, otherwise you start smelling gas and then it leaks onto the rug you laid down and then that rug will forever smell like gas. So at that point, once I got this top bolt out, I was just lifting and wiggling the skid so that the bottom bolt would fall out from gravity. Now I'll slide the skid ahead as far as I can and work the back out of the inside cogs of the track and pull it out. Just like that, our skid is free. Roll that out of the way. Don't lose the bushings out of the front arm of your track. Otherwise you'll be bummed out when you go to put the skid back in. I like to put the bushing back on the bolt, along with the nut and the washer, and then I'll just toss them in a bin until ready to put everything back together.